go labor on, spend and be spent, thy joy to do the Father's will. It is the way the master went, should not the seven tread it Good morning, Holy Spirit, for giving us this day as a gift to celebrate. Elohim God, thank you for giving us your new breath as a gift. Lord, as we learn something new, give us a caring heart. To be your vessel of strength for man and a vessel of solution for women. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Beloved, when God is reaching for you, He's going to break down every barrier and reach through every wall until He touches you again to fit and plug you into your purpose and be committed to it. Else, you'll be trying to do something big in order to draw importance from people to yourself. The act of life is when you think what you do is important, be it what God has assigned to you to do in the church or raising kids in the home as a wife or a father. Friends, we are in a culture where most Christians seem 
to forsake their calling because they are trying to find something big to do so that people will think they are important or you are important. You got to believe that what you are called to do is important because until you believe that you won't do small things that God has entrusted to you with excellence. Beloved, what God has for you is in the deep. He is not a shallow God. You have to be all in. Sometimes God tells you to put something down in order so that you can pick up something better. The reason the Lord said in Matthew chapter 25 verse 23, well done, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. The Lord says if you make few things important in your life and achieve excellence with it, the Lord says, I will make you ruler over big things and promote you at your excellent level. Beloved in Christ, there is king and victory in you. Therefore, as soon as you find your call, you love your purpose and plan to achieve your God-given destiny. Beloved, God has called us to step into our purpose and grow into it. Else, we will birth our agonies if we refuse to fulfill our calling. Therefore, view yourself as a person with options to seek God for your destiny and make decisions that agree with that destiny. Do not expect to be honored if you have not done something to point to. May your faith becomes a bridge between where you are and where you want to go. Since you have the faith to believe it, may you have the power to conceive it. And even when things are getting worse, instead of better, believe God for the impossible. Indeed, the just shall live by faith. May the good Lord empower you to achieve your God-given destiny in this wonderful new year. Thanks for listening and bye for now. Toil on, faint not. Keep watch and pray. Be wise, be erring, so to win.
come in. Go fall into the well. For toil comes rain. 